Chelsea Alana apologized to Von Ray, but she's denying a lot of things that was going on in all the streets. It's Mount TV. All day, every day. Bring you all latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in these streets. I say it ain't so, but we already knew it was going to come to fruition, right? It seems like a lot is going on in Chelsea Alana's camp around Tasha K. Right, or not. <laughs> or not. I was, inside, I was just under a lot of stress dealing with that Cardi B case, and I came out and I'm like, I just gotta fix this. This ex-team member is saying some, uh, uh, her boyfriend at the time wouldn't leave the apartment. She's filing charges on him, restraining orders and stuff. He's already out on probation, I guess, has an ankle monitor on, and now he's coming through the house, forcing himself onto her, and I'm like, I don't want Storm nowhere near this energy. Near this energy. So I'm like, you need to separate and you need to separate the fuck now, okay? This looks bad, period. It happened until there's some recordings that reveal that she did say it happened because she told it to other people too. All because a man did not want her. Now she went ahead and sent a call over to Mr. Von Ray, a message first, and he went ahead and called her in two minutes. Yes, he did. Now he wanted that apology in voice Absolutely. and in recording. Absolutely. Now he explained to her that this is the cop this is the type of thing that I have to address on many occasions. I can't get over this. Doesn't matter how You ruined my life. Exactly. No matter how successful or, or up in the level that you see me, I always have to address this to whoever is on my show or whoever's got the questions for me. Now she denies that she ever put this out, okay? She says she never said it. So she's throwing Tasha K under the bus, Absolutely. as everyone's saying. Absolutely. Because very clearly, it was put out there. Storm confronted her on live. We all saw that Tasha K did not deny she said it until a while later. But it all checked out. They, it had to have happened. Absolutely. You know, you knew I was going to make this video to denounce Vaughn. That video had nothing to do with you. And all I did was big you up and you took it as if I was... No, 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 no. Now, um, I, if we don't recall, you know, Tasha K went on her live and she was having one of those little couch sessions that she does whenever she was explaining all this. I remember it like it was yesterday. But also, going back on my notes is what I want to call it. I recall Vaughn Ray stating that it was kind of a, a debacle under that household, right? They have a round table talk. Whatever didn't come to a storyline they were gonna make up a storyline because sometimes i would go to tasha house with her they had these meetings before they go live i would just analyze and i'd be like damn they really sit back here and create these stories whether if it, if it was true had a little strength on it or it was totally false now uh von ray is trying to get chelsea to admit look i just want you to take accountability for your part in all of this mess she wasn't having it. She said, I didn't say that. Show me where I said that. And of course, whenever you want to put the blame on Tasha K and Tasha K wants to rip them receipts from online, you know what I mean? Good thing you have people like us that'll set them receipts straight because this is what we have waited so long to kind of put into a, I'm going to say a storyline because there were missing pieces out of everything that maybe Chelsea had said. Von Ray didn't uh rebuttal back in time or look at this storyline this has been almost two years almost in the making right but um as well when we see all the pieces fall into place it just kind of makes you sit back and go who's really telling the truth and who's really lying because honestly there's some bits and pieces out of chelsea's story and there's still bits and pieces out of von ray's story yes i mean he did deny knowing who came up to his house to shoot him. Cause I don't want you to sit and rack your brain. Like who, who could it be, but. And I'm not, to yeah. be honest, I'm not racking my brain. I'm not going crazy over who did it and why. I let God deal with that. God don't even build our minds to do nothing savage like that. Cause honestly, I ain't never seen this person a day in my life. Our but, minds and hearts ain't built to be that savage. So they weren't even masked up? No. Wow, that's, that's savage for real. But he had clear as day ring footage from his doorbell camera of one. his cousin being the shooter Absolutely. coming up to stalk him and catch him. Absolutely. Now. It was, it was really upsetting on her part. You know, I feel for her because he put the audio of that and the footage together, right. trying to link some things. Right. He even had audio of us in there. It was very confusing on what that whole statement was. Well, you put my audio with your whole shooting thing as, as your vindication. No, the, no the, what the vindication was that everybody was talking shit about me while I was down. I never played. But you know that, put it, you know that put out the notion that I had something no, to do time, with it. No, at the time, I didn't get that. 
<laughs> but to me, I think that Vaughn is more of a wow factor. You know, whenever he came on to the cast and crew of Kiwi Studios, there was a lot already that he had on the back burner accomplished. You know what I mean? From what he started with Latoya. So I think it was something that he wanted to pick up and start over. And it was complicated to do because Kiwi wanted to put him on contract. And that's not something he wanted to do. He wanted to start his business on his own. So, you know, that started a big rift between, you know, Chelsea and her plans with Vaughn Ray. Well, as we see in those messages as well, you know, she's apologizing for some things. But he said, you know, I did some things as well after what you were doing. So it was kind of a get back. But if we go back to Miss Chelsea Alana's deleted tweets, OK, nobody has really put a story on about this. But I was getting the investigations together. Right. Mm -hmm. Chelsea Alana went on a couple delete binges of tweets, 2,000 on each day. So a total of about 4,000 some odd tweets were deleted over the years. Now, there was one bulk delete when she joined uh, a, a while after she joined Miss Tasha K. Mm -hmm. Of course, she was having her expose on Jason Lee, so she had to hide some things. Mm -hmm. And then when all this started to go down, and I told her in the videos, right, we're going to pull up all them social media receipts. Right. She went on a delete binge. Yes, she did. Now, it doesn't matter. We already have a lot. We got felony admissions, okay? We got tweets about her broken relationship with her mother. Mm -hmm. that she was accusing Von Ray of having a broken relationship with her. Mm -hmm. so because he hates his mom. <laughs> It's clear as day. Everyone I've ever tussled with always had issues with their mother. Even the one that's up in the hospital pissing in a plastic bag right now. They all had issues with their mammy. And I, I couldn't understand why I thought my mom was jealous of me. I used to be like, girl, you mad? Cause you didn't grow up the way I grew up. Girl, you wish you were me. I used to be disrespectful. I used to talk about like, girl, you wish you were me. So it's a lot of hypocritical things going on on these posts. Now, one of the tweets she revealed Something about Soulja Boy. Very similar to the story that's being shopped around about Mr. Von Ray and her. Uh, we had got an exclusive. And um, a close source uh, was talking about Von Ray. How he was crying about the allegations that they put on him. Uh, because if you remember, Storm Monroe went live on his channel. And he said that they wanted to say that uh, Von Ray put put um, Chelsea head between the washing machine and dryer. And he forced himself on her. And that he pulled out his pain. Like you said, take accountability. Take accountability. On the same hand, you got to understand. Even though I surpassed and survived all that shit, I still have people that think I raped you. I still have people that think I put your head through a washing and dryer. She says, I just saw Soldier Boy's OnlyFans, and I can totally see why Nia Riley was letting that man knock her head in between the washer and dryer. Right. Now, what, what in the predictive programming reuse stories? Uh, sitting at the table with Tasha K, formulating right. stories and regurgitating. Oh, th what is going on here? Well, Von Ray himself said that if a story didn't add up, they were going to make it add up, you know? So I believe that receipt. I do believe that even though that just came from him being a part and sitting at the table, um, you know, things like this happen. Now, good thing that Vaughn actually said this on a live to where we could record him because there's a lot of people that get into that camp and try to give you some little notes here and there about how Tasha K runs her stuff. But Tasha K, really don't, she doesn't really show off all the deeds like she did, like she thought that Vaughn was going to be a part of the crew, right? So, any whom, this, this is a perfect example of that storyline right there. Too bad that Von Ray was thrown under the bus with this kind of story because, as he mentioned, this is something you can't run from. This is like a stigma. It sticks to you no matter what. If you're trying to move on with your life, Von still has those stigmas. You know, no matter how far in life, there's always going to be somebody that backpedals and asks you a question that had nothing to do with you. But they're going to ask how you felt about it being put on your name. So whenever it comes to somebody that's a father, you know what I mean? That's first and foremost. So, you know, if you're a parent, you got to deal with this. That's even, I don't know. That's even more, I want to say, demeaning on the personality. It's just something that, you know, will really mess up your mental. Now, let's not forget, Chelsea said that she'd been through so much that she was put on some medication to, ch to cope with all of this. I know that was shocking to me. Not to me. Because I think, like you said, the deleted tweet stated that she was taking red pill, blue pill, green pill, yellow pill. That's true. She did admit to some things. Okay, look. So I do. Well, she claimed on her pages she doesn't drink. She don't do drugs. She, she constantly posts about taking and popping pills every day while she's uh, drinking her martinis and, and her wines. And mojitos for breakfast. Stop playing with me. So, yeah. So there's just a whole bunch. 
Now, um, you know, her situation has changed. She is allegedly pregnant, allegedly, you know, into buckles. I would say uh, feuding with her father, her, her baby daddy to be because he is now digging up all of these uh, allegations and trying to put a storyline together. Like, who am I getting mixed up with, girl? What is really going on? So when you get the mamas and the sisters and the and, and look, the grandparents involved, whoever's funding, oh boy, <laughs> they want to know. What are you good for my son? Or are you not good for my son? But I'm really looking at him like if you didn't know who Chelsea was before. But then again, no, then again, nothing. He needs to be cautious, okay? Because as Chelsea revealed recently on her page, her man is funding her business ventures, launching a club, purchasing an Airbnb, a few projects under her belt. My boyfriend is a business owner, and so when I met him, you know. A girl was not trying to get no diabetes, but she was looking for a sugar, a little sugar. You know what I'm saying? You catch my drink, you catch my hand. And so my man let me know from the very beginning, I'm not that type of man. However, one type of man he is, he allows me to put myself in a position to make money based off of his investments. And he don't really ask me no questions about it. So letting her do whatever she wants and launch her things. Now, if we see in the past, she has revealed one of her posts and deletes as well. Things she's trying to scrub from the Internet. She revealed another felony admission that she has stolen from her bosses, yes. checking people in when they were actually in jail, right. Mr. Reggie, okay? Yes. So he needs to be careful. When people give her full access to the sign-ins and sign-outs on that money, I think she, she pulled on the cipher. Yeah, I think that she has access to a lot of information whenever it comes to um, what goes the on business. Online. Absolutely. And just like when uh, she's selling all these sponsors and affiliate lists, and then it seems like she's gotten these lists working with Miss Tasha K and Jason Lee. Mm, mm, mm. So she's taking whatever information she can and she's selling it. Absolutely. She got that stuff on a she got it on the drive. Let's not play. She's got all that stuff saved on her on her hard drive. Um I, I don't know, you know, to me it's like, you know, I look at Chelsea and I'm like, she really wants this. She really, really wants this. But I think sometimes it's a lot on her shoulders and she can't help but get like tripped up in the moment and she's a very egotistical individual as soon as she's got too much she starts to show it off she starts to talk about she it she overshares remember whenever she said well this is a benz i'm always racing on the freeway and, it's and like, it got stolen <laughs> <laughs> they were like track it steal it is mine now so i'm just saying you know there's a lot of bragging moments that chelsea has but i think in the midst of it all those bragging moments don't last too long and then they always catch up to bite her right in the butt and say you lied you a lie? These twisted truths are always going to catch up with you. Now she's trying to remake her brand, right? She's trying to, trying to right her wrongs. Absolutely. And I think, honestly, it's only going to go so far. Because I, especially I just, you need to actually have full accountability. If you're going to apologize, apologize and stand on your shit to right. 10 toes. She's not doing that. She's trying to, you know, say, okay, I'm apologizing for this way, but you're not going to tell me how to apologize. Uh, you know, and he's like, you ruined my life. She's basically like, oh, well. Somebody saying somebody got raped by Von Ray, and I'm just fighting for my life, I feel like, at that point. Oh, okay. So, like I was saying. Yeah. Like, no. Especially after saying, you know, I don't want this to end up on the internet on 20 different channels. And it's like, girl. While you're telling him, you're not going to tell me how to accept or take accountability. You don't get to choose how I take the accountability. Well, you're not going to tell him how to take your apology. If he wants this aired in public, that was the whole gist of it in the first place. If you're going to ruin my reputation in public, why don't you go ahead and apologize in public? Absolutely. So this, uh, to me, this was the right thing to do. Now, um, yeah, we'll see how this all unfolds. I think on another, you know, on any other, uh, you know what? It's like this. If this was to happen to anybody else, it wouldn't go too far. You'd be doing time right now. And that's just facts. Just off of the receipts that you posted online. You know, a lot of times we don't need much to lock you up. So... We'll see where this ends up going. I think that Chelsea is really trying to remake herself. And she's trying to keep her baby daddy and put him on ring lock. It is what it is. She's trying to be married and be this person that she's always trying to make herself out to be. Right? Yeah. Because she's just a liar. Right. She will make shift and uh, pretend like a chameleon. That she's one thing when she's not. Okay? And don't take my word for it. Take her word for it. Absolutely. She has plenty of tweets up here that she deleted. <laughs> yes. 
That's a book. Them tweets and deletes. Yeah, we got books worth, okay? We have the archives, internet backups, you name it. We have files and files and files that Miss Chelsea Alana wanted to hide from the internet right. after she put it out, okay? Oversharing. Now, in these tweets, she admits to all these lies she formulates. Let's go ahead and read these tweets. Now, this tweet is coming back from October 27th of 2021, where she states, I knew me and my friends were insane when I started to lie in front of somebody, and these bitches finished off my lies with bigger lies. She comes back, and she goes, I hate when I'm lying about something to someone, and they start dragging my lie like it's the truth. Like, first of all, I'm fucking lying. And she says, I hate when people lie to me. Like, it's never that serious. But it is, though. Like, good Lord. It's cool when she does it. It's a problem when they do it. Exactly. She, this next one states, uh, It kills me how I need to lie to get people to believe me when something ridiculous happens. Now, you know, that one right there stands out to me. Because what? Another one says, Girl. Girl, it's a blatant. It, it's the blatant lies and disrespect I'll never be able to get over. It's like crazy to me to hear somebody say something that that's what you're known for doing. I don't know. It's like narcissistic behavior 101. Here's another one. I'm starting off with lies because if you had to ask, that means you wasn't there to know. Mm -mm -mm. So it's just a mess admitting that she has a problem mm -mm. with lying. It's very mental. It's mental. That's mental. And you let me tell you something. What's that called? Is, there, is that a disorder? It's like that... single child syndrome. You know, you make up stories just to get attention because your parents got their own thing going on. I'm just telling you because I was a single child for a long time, too. And my thing was imagination. You know what I mean? If I could tell you what I was thinking and it was outrageous and we had a storyline to go off of. But a lot of times, if you just don't have nothing going on, then you just going to lie about some stuff to make it extravagant and make it, you know. Make yourself more interesting. That's it. That's it. That sounds so just bad. Just like a manipulator, <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is just, you know... A many. retrospect of what everyone around her has to go through. Mm -mm -mm. That's crazy. So now she's got to, she's living this. She's living this day by day. She's trying to put band-aids on everything that she has destroyed, which is her past. I mean, you know, come on now. Yeah, she tried to destroy Von Ray, but clearly he's getting the last laugh here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> getting those recordings. Now she went on her post and said, uh, I could sue you, but... I don't know. I guess you're not going to go there. Well, the fact of the matter is whenever you have just as much stacked against you as the person that you accuse of having things, you know, against, it's, it's very complicated to fight against, you know what I mean? A negative and a negative. And you'll be wasting your money anyway, because what will happen is, is if you really believe that you can sue somebody, you'll do it. Okay. That's just point blank period. If you know that there's a lot that they've crossed the line, um, but the fact of the matter is when you're an employee of Tasha K, there's a lot that you can just sweep under the rug and go, we were just working. This is what we do. You know what I mean? Making up stories. Like a lot of these are allegations. Like there's so many things that she can claim and, and, and it just kind of gets her off. You know what I'm saying? The same way that Tasha K thought that she wasn't going to get in trouble whenever she went to court with, with the Cardi B. You know what I mean? It's a show. It's my job. So with that being said. We'll see how it all develops and how Miss Chelsea Lana deals with all this. Who goes live? Okay. So they're obviously uh, having some problems and Chelsea's moving on trying to make some mans. But we're going to have to have the fallout before all that comes <laughs> to a full circle. Well, I can't help but bring up Jason Lee and his come up, you know, these last couple months with all these good interviews. Will Chelsea Lana be a guest on his show to talk about... Tasha K. I don't know. You know what I mean? Or will Tasha K be on the Jason Lee show to talk about Chelsea? She, she, she also her. admitted, you know, another one of her fraud admissions, yeah. just admitting to crimes left and right. She said that her and one of Jason Lee's uh, employees, contractors, whatever they were, interns, mm -hmm. um, logged into his accounts without his permission. But, but another issue that we were having when we were with Jason was that he gave us the password to the Hollywood Unlocked website, which ultimately was the same password for his personal Instagram and his Facebook. While working there, one, I don't want to put her name out there because I don't know if she still works there or whatever the case may be. However, one of the girls had went through his Facebook page, Facebook Messenger. Now that is a violation of the Computer Frauds Act. I can't even 
believe that she would admit to logging into the Venmo, the Facebook, oh, everything man. to get these receipts of Absolutely. Floyd Mayweather's uh, money contributions to Hollywood Unlocked, you name it. Yeah, I was even surprised to see that she was name dropping. She was name dropping and she was literally giving like how people were living and it was just, it was too much. Uh, it was too much. Jason had, you know, alleged problems with Chelsea. He said that she was stealing something, some sort of intellectual property. Mm -hmm. Not a surprise. And she steals uh, timesheet fraud and everything. But it's surprising that he's not pressing charges, you know, no, with these admissions. I don't know. I, I'm not going to sit here. Nobody presses charges on Miss Chelsea Lana. Down to Von Ray getting the cameras hidden in his house. To this, you know, hacking into Von Ray's accounts. Hacking into jason lee's accounts everyone just lets her get away with all these frauds is what is it about miss chelsea alana that everyone just lets her slide uh, are you asking me i'm asking I, you I, 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 i'm asking the audience you guys tell me down below is it just uh you know the 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 fillers the plump lips and all that you got the, yes, the wigs that really that. infatuates people that bad that it don't you can do no wrong i'll be the first one to tell it storm says she gives it up on the first day <laughs> so i'm gonna go with that with no protection and i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna go with that sometimes that's really all it takes you know what i'm saying uh, it you know look avoid the talking get down to the nitty-gritty now she did say on that Instagram post, she said, I could slap you with a lawsuit or I could just slap you, but you might just be lucky I'm distracted. So she's focusing on her pregnancy and launching all these businesses off her man's money. Um, but this is the problem. You know, everyone says they got a problem, but no one's filing no lawsuits. No one's filing charges. You know, you ain't about that action. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, me either. So we'll see. Um, I, to me, I think Jason Lee's just taking his notes, okay, to take to court later. Um, but we'll see how all this unfurls, unfolds, and develops. Because uh, it can get really dirty out here. And it's really all about how these people are going to respond. What is Tasha K going to say? What is Chelsea going to say? Especially with her waking up and it being on 20 different channels. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. Now, Chelsea Lana did hit up Conscious TV with a DM. Mm. Okay, she was trying to pay him to have some videos removed. Well, girl, make your rounds. Go and make your rounds, girl. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but Miss Chelsea Lana did unblock us on Instagram. She did block us after I confronted her about lying on my brand. Right. You know, she said we put out her address, her photos of her and her place and it was really weird, mm -hmm. you know, because Jovi Beauty, Coffee City, Storm, mm -hmm. all put out that information running those stories right, right. and even pointing out that her address was there. But yet she was telling me that she had a problem with me. Absolutely. And that in, on Coffee City's comment section and Coffee City even ran the story and made it look like I put out her address. And she, It was ridiculous because yeah, it, it never like, happened yeah. yeah it definitely looked like some teammates were getting together to coerce something that we just really didn't say um and yeah i would really like an explanation on why she kind of put i would like an apology and i would Absolutely. like that funding okay and just like when i came out and mentioned <laughs> that storm and row had that contract and she came to my comment section talking about i'll give storm two thousand dollars if he can produce that contract well he produced it just hours later on Absolutely. live started june 18 2019 21, 22. It's technically null and void. Technically, it technically can be null and void at uh, Kiwi Studios as well. So technically, it is null and void. But according to this, okay, y'all can't even see that because uh, the, the light is so bright. It ends June 18th, 2022. So everybody can wonder why he keep talking about six months. Why he keep talking about six months? Six months this, six months that. I just wanted this to technically be out. That's it. And she wants to act like uh, I never said that. now Mount TV owes her the two thousand. I might um no I am going to I'm not gonna mind I am going to I'm posting Storm and Rose um his contract and all that other stuff in my membership. So somebody tell Mount TV that they owe me money for saying that I was lying because I went and I found it. No, you owe Storm that two thousand. Storm don't want it, so you can go ahead and send it my way. <laughs> go on and do it. So yes, yeah. a mess, just a mess, a whole mess. Well, that's about it. We'll for see today. how this all develops for today. For today. <laughs> hey, look, I think what's going to happen is, you know, well, I, I'm really not sure. Look, my prediction could go outside the box. 
I'm just waiting for some responses at this point. And if she's so much on an apology spree, I really think that she needs to apologize. To everybody. Absolutely. Let us know how you were put in. Since you're throwing Tasha K under the bus, tell us exactly what made you come over here to Mount TV and think that you could just insert yourself into some business over here. Miss, I never heard of you, but yet we go back two years on the receipts and there you are. There's just crazy things that just don't add up. And you're didn't apologize for that either. Absolutely. So the delusion of it all... I do want an apology. Not only that, but you pinpointed the girl on the show so many times. Be about it or be quiet. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, because that's who she thought she was tussling with when she lied on our platform. She thought she was going back She's and forth with you until I revealed to her. No, I, it's me. Absolutely. It's you talking to the man. Absolutely. You're not talking to the woman here. So all this. Uh, what they no. don't understand is I'm a guest on your show. <laughs> so it is what it is. And those who know, they follow me on my channel. It is what it is. But with this right here, though, it's getting pretty deep. And all I'm saying is if you are on an apology, you know, rant, then apologize. You know, because the, 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 what is it? The unblock is unblocked. Okay? So go ahead and apologize and make things right with the whole avenue of YouTube. If you're trying to rebrand and rebuild, that's the first thing you do. You know, in steps, in steps. Now, I don't think, I can't see no apology coming to storm. But um, I think if he was to get one, he'd probably come back and kind of chill out a little bit. Because she was the B word over and over and over last night. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Because y'all know we can go on and on. It's Mount TV all day, every day, bringing all these headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, chasers, and everything trending in the streets. Go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe, and see us here in the next ones. And we are out. out. Thank you for watching.